uh, okay guys this is what i have for you today this is a uh, past gce paper 3 that's for ordinary level 2021 yes so today we are looking at task 3 which has to do with uh, the c programming let's look at this in modular arithmetic when we divide two whole numbers the result is a whole number called the dividend and another whole number called the remainder for example 7 slash 3 gives a dividend of 2 and a remainder of 1 in programming two operators are used to do the division we have uh, the forward slash and the percentage sign in C and we have the diff and mode keywords in Pascal we are just going to use those knowledge that knowledge to do the exercise that we have below us we have been given two examples to guide us in C we have 7 slash 3 to give 2 this is the divide the dividend and we have 7 percentage 3 to give us 1 this is the remainder in Pascal we see the the, the different version how the operators are used for now we are focusing on C so let's proceed the C and Pascal program below perform the same task using modular arithmetic Select any one of them and answer the questions that follow. We have a program block for the C programming language and we have another for the Pascal programming language. But since our focus is on C programming language, I'll just zoom in and we focus on this. Good. The C programming language. Now we have been given a block of code. Let's see the instructions that come below it. Uh, the first one says launch either C or Pascal program development environment and key in the corresponding program Compile the program if any errors keep correcting and compiling until all the errors are corrected This is pretty easy. We have just been given a block of code to type We just have to type it in, in the software and then we compile and run now if they and if any errors happen to come up We just use the knowledge that we have been studying in class to identify those errors and correct them if there is none then we are good to go the second says save it as task 3.a and the third says run the program two times providing this value the first time and this other value the second time write the output you observe each time in the spaces provided below probably in your answer booklet now what i'll do is when i open my uh, development environment the first thing that i always like to do is to save the tasks so in this case, our number two will be number one, and then number one will become number two. So the first thing I would like us to do is to save. Why do I do this? In case there is power failure, electricity, anything uh, happens, you must have at least saved your file and probably what you have been working on already. Instead of doing everything and then trying to save at the end. So let's move on to our C programming development environment. This is it which is open i'll come to file i take new and i open source file please take note it is not a new project it is a new source file i want to go straight to the point now it is open i would need to save it i click on file again i click on save as i select my folder let me check the desktop uh, you probably have a candidate folder for you maybe with your candidate number or center number or whatever so let me open from five why do we see it and I'll save it as task 3a task 3a dot c please take note always include your extension file extension when you're working with text editors and development environments always include your extension so we are working with the C programming language our extension is dot c so I'll save it as task 3a dot c save now let's proceed even before looking at the code to copy we already know that our basic structure of the c programming language looks like so so i normally expect every student of mine to be able to do this without even looking anywhere then we have our main function defined like that braces open and close then we are good to go if you can do this then we are sure of the basic skeleton of the c programming language now let's look at what was given to us 
I'll scroll back up. We have hash include stdio.h for standard input output header. It is there. We have our main function defined. And here we have something new, the void. I've probably explained this in class once before. The void indicates that we have no parameters inside these braces. So you can either leave it blank or you write void. It is the same thing. Now, moving on. The first part of it, the first program statement is uh, to declare three variables, m, cm, and norm. These three variables are of data type integer, short int. So I'll also declare them as well, separate them by commas, and in the end, I'll terminate with a semicolon. Remember, I always have to terminate. Next line says, we should print this out to the user. Print F, enter number of centimeters. With this, we already know that we want to, we want to get in a value. So I'll write print F, enter the number of centimeters. Give a space to receive the input. And remember, in the end, I have to terminate. Next next line says scan f scan f is to receive now the input and store it in a variable based on a particular integer type percentage da specifies the percentage da is the conversion specifier which specifies the data type in which the value will be stored and norm here declare, defines the variable where it will be stored in so I'll also go ahead and write that down. Scan F. Please take note. Scan F. Percentage D for integer data type, comma. And now I will specify the variable to which it is to be stored. I terminate. I'm done with that line. Let's look at the next. Okay, now we have m equals the norm slash 100. CM equals the norm percentage 100. These are two separate program statements and each of them define a process. If you're looking at algorithms and flowcharts, this represents a process. There is no input coming in, no output going out, no conditions to be tested, just something that you declare. It is a process. Now remember we said the equal sign when used in programming refers to an assignment operator. So we are computing this norm divided by 100 and assigning the value to the variable m and same here so let's do that m is equal to num divided by 100 i'll terminate i'm done with that line and we have cm is equal to num percentage 100 i'll also terminate we are done with that we've, de we've defined two processes now the next part is to print now the value, the value of the conversion. Please take note, if you looked at this critically, you'll notice that our program is meant to get a large number. It's meant to get a large number in uh, centimeters and convert it to or reduce it to a meter equivalent and meters and centimeters equivalent or simply to meters conversion from centimeters to meters so let's write this part down and i'll explain it says print f percentage d centimeters is equivalent to percentage d meters and percentage d centimeters and we have a backslash n so that it takes us to a new line after that now look at this we have percentage d i told you up here that percentage d is a conversion specifier what does this mean a value if we're using it in the value in a printf statement it means a, an integer value is going to take the position of this percentage d here we have another percentage d another integer value is going to take the position of this percentage d and another integer value of this percentage d now where do we get those integer values we'll have to write them 
out of the inverted commas. First of all, we'll put a comma to separate that part, and we write the first integer value, which will be stored in the variable num, as given here, num, comma. The next one, which is going to take this next position, is going to come in respectively. That will be m, and finally cm. Remember, at the end, we have to terminate. And finally, let's display out. We get, we define a character variable C as get character. A function to get character. And display us our result. Now, let's run the program and see first test with our own value okay i've compiled and run and it has gone successfully without any errors means i typed everything correctly you should do same i trust you okay the first value i'll test is let's say 80 centimeters enter it tells us 80 centimeters is equivalent to zero meters and 80 centimeters good this is good it works fine let me test another value a bigger value like 720 centimeters it will tell us 720 centimeters is equivalent to 7 meters and 20 centimeters which is true which is correct now let me try something simpler my height i am 165 centimeter store let me see what it has to say 165 centimeters is equivalent to 1 meter and 65 centimeters which is actually true what i have on my id card will be 1.65 which is the same thing basically so it runs fine now let's do the ones that we've been asked to do we're on question three on that task three it says run the program two times for writing 1250 as input the first time and four five six seven eight as input the second time start with the first one one two one thousand two hundred and fifty i'll run the program one thousand two hundred and fifty enter it says one thousand two hundred and fifty centimeters is equivalent to 12 meters and 50 centimeters is that correct yes it is so observe and write it down in the spaces provided the next part says 45,678. Let's try that. Okay. 45,678. Let's run that. It says 45,678 centimeters is equivalent to 456 meters and 78 centimeters. Is that correct? Yes, absolutely. I believe that is correct. So it turns out our program runs fine now what you are going to do is to copy the code accordingly in your development environment compile and run check if you have errors make sure you don't have any errors and then you run these two values you can also try to modify them in your own free time but if, in the ex if you are in the exam you follow the instructions as exactly as they've been given you run this you notice the <coughs> output and you observe them then you do the second part you notice the output observe them as well then you write them down in the spaces that are provided for you well i think we are good to go so good luck i'll be waiting for your comments and any questions that you have thank you